And Tom Canavan hiding that body of yours. But anyway, let's talk about the body of the wine, shall we? It's more important. Listen, you've heard of Fair Trade Organisation. They put a stamp on all sorts of products, yes. from chocolate to coffee, just to say that the workers back who manufacture these products are getting a fair wage. Okay. So it applies to wine too. And I thought we'd line up three Fair Trade wines this week and see if they're also good wines as well as being, you know, the proper way to spend your money and make sure people are in good condition. Okay, let's go for your choice number one, your first choice. Choice number one is a white. If you want a wee sniff and a taste of this one, mm. it's the Fair Hills Chenin Blanc Chardonnay 2010. It comes from South Africa, which has got a lot of these fair trade projects, and it costs £5.24 in Asda. Now, if you have a sniff, oh, the Chenin, is nice. it's nice, isn't it? The mm. Chenin Blanc gives it a lovely kind of apple freshness. The Chardonnay gives it a more kind of peachy, more kind of slightly honeyed oh, kind of quality. Mm -hmm. And it's dry, but it's fruity. Mm. Would you expect to pay more because it's fair trade? Is that is that fair to say? No, mm -hmm. well, you know, you might spend literally a couple of pence more because mm. fair trade's guaranteeing that people back in the farms producing the grapes are getting a, a good living wage. Mm -hmm. But it's, broadly speaking, mm. the same price as any other wine. I like that. That's very yep. nice. Easy nice, isn't drink, it? Easy, yeah. easy to drink, good with fish, good with seafood. Yep. Nice to drink in its own. Not too own. heavy. No, a really nice Amanda, light. do you drink red, white, rosé? What are you? Bit of everything. Bit of everything. Bit of everything. Welcome well, to the album. Yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I suddenly Perfectly feel like home. Perfectly suited <laughs> towards this. <laughs> What's the next rosé. choice? Rosé. Second one up is a rosé, as you've spotted. This is um, another one from South Africa, actually. Mm -hmm. So this is the Fairtrade Pinotage Rosé, made Pinotage, from the Pinotage okay. grape. It's in Sainsbury's at £5.59. And Pinotage is the kind of signature grape for South Africa. So have a sniff again. And I'm getting kind of almost kind of red currenty pomegranate kind of notes pomegranate. from this. Quite dry oh, right. fruit. Because you quite like rosé, don't you? I do. I've, I've recently kind of... Uh, Began to enjoy Rosie. Enjoy a Rosie, <laughs> Grant. Yeah. A little bit more than I should, really. But then, I, I always well, thought it was quite a girly drink. Well, you know, Sorry. it used to have a reputation. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> I can assure you. Thank you, Tom. Uh, but listen, it used to be thought of as a kind of girly drink, but it's not at all, just because it's pink. That it's does taste crazy. a bit like pomegranate juice, it's got to be it's, said. Well, uh, you know, I think that's right. It's a rosy on the dry style. It's not the sweet rosy that you might remember. It's a dry, food-friendly wine again. Mm -hmm. Match up with smoked salmon, smoked chicken, those kind of things. You like that, don't you? I'm not so keen I do, on that I one. I do like so. that, but I think you'll find it takes a real man to drink pink. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, exactly. You look, yeah. you oh, look yes. good with it, Grant. Your you look great. Your masculinity is mm. not in question. Right. Thank you. Just check it out. Finally. <laughs> finally onto the red. It's because you saw that photograph of me, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> She's threatened, Tom. Threatened. She's threatened. <laughs> right. right. Last one. Last one. Oh, no. <laughs> the full-bodied red. Come on, Tom. I've got to, got to do something in my days off. <laughs> right. Okay, La Riojana is the last La one. We've got this big red. La Riojana Fair Trade Bonarda Shiraz from Argentina. Mm -hmm. So this we've moved over to Argentina this time, and this one is four pounds seventy-five in the cooperative. So you know, non-expensive wine made from the two grapes. Bonarda is an Italian grape. Okay. Shiraz is a French grape. But you know, it's a lovely wine. You're having a wee sip of it there. Um, it has that sweet, plummy, kind of currenty fruit. Mm. But it's actually still got a wee bit of freshness yeah. to it I as like well, that. I think. Isn't mm. it lovely? I really it's like that. One of those reds that's not too heavy. Mm -hmm. um, it's nice enough, soft enough to drink in its own, mm -hmm. but it's got that wee bit of tannin and acidity to match with foods as well. Yeah. I'd put this with kind of, you know, home cooking. It's to go with a spag ball, and it's to go with, you know, a steak pie. It's to go with any of those kind of nice, nice home cooking well, foods. £4.75 in the co op. Fair trade Bernard de Shiraz. That's very nice. I don't normally drink red, as you know, but that's, uh, that's that I could quite easily uh, enjoy some of that of an yeah. evening. And I think it shows that these wines do deliver a good glass of wine, uh -huh. you know, as well as being fair trade products. Okay. Right. Amanda, go for your favourite of the My three. My favourite is the red, actually. Oh, the red. There you go, that's a surprise. Um, I'm actually going to go for the white. Ah, uh, well, yeah. I think. Not, the, not the pink, as much as I enjoy <laughs> As much as I enjoy the rosé, but I can easily just enjoy the white as well, so oh. thank you very much. Tom, um, your favourite? Well, you know, they're all really nice wines, but I think maybe I'd go with the red as well. Amanda, I think See? that's a really Good nice. Change. Nice. Now, Michelle yeah. and Stephen uh, will be back and uh, they'll be looking for some wine next Friday as well. What are you going to bring in for them? Well, listen, we're on just before Show of Tuesday, Pancake Tuesday, so I've lined up oh. three wines to go with different styles of mm. pancakes. Wine and pancakes. Interesting yeah. mix. Yeah, it'll be an interesting mix, but I've got some ideas. Is there a cheeky wee Prosecco coming in there, possibly? There's a, a Prosecco with the sweet Your pancakes, favorite. so we're going to do that. Now, that's a really nice recommendation, mm. right? right? We'll look forward okay. to that. Thank yeah. you very much. Well, cheers, that. Tom. Thank you very much indeed for cheers. coming in.